So guys, we open up Sony Vegas and Power Director and made exactly five minutes of five minute clip. Trimming a five minute clip. So exactly five minutes. So let's cut to the chase and I'm going to show you now the video stabilization is the first one. So if you want to stabilize this uh, video, it's the basic, it's the standard. You got to click on stabilize this and this, it processes every uh, dot on the video and you will stay, I made the test before, 50 minutes of processing. I don't know what it processes on this video stabilization, but it's annoying to stay this long and interrupt your work. 14 minutes and 15 minutes 16 minutes for a five minutes clip just to see it this is not the rendering pay attention this is not the rendering this is just the stabilizing media so uh let's see on the other software we'll go here simple fix and enhance video denoise and click on video stabilizer and you have fixed rotation of the camera you can correction level I think 15% level will be for uh, easy shaking of your footage will be enough but you can go to the 50% and if you don't like it trims of course it trims the video if you don't like use the enhanced stabilizer so it's very easy to use the enhanced stabilizer will enhance and stabilizes your heavy footage with problems uh, or I recommend you to use the correction level as low as possible and use all the time the enhanced stabilizer it's great I think this is a perfect tool and the only problem it uses a lot of resources this enhanced stabilizer and this tool guys will do a great job you will not believe it how good it uh, will do you don't have to stay uh, you saw 15 minutes to stay just to stabilize your video just for preview okay guys let's move further we want to denoise this uh, tools especially attract my attention and I want to show it to you and we will look for the Vegas denoiser and we have the Vegas denoiser if you want to use this tool man it's not possible to have this preview we don't have a preview <laughs> to this tool it's a 1.0 tool let me show you it's a man it's, it's a rubbish tool it's a rubbish tool the CPU stays in a hundred percent you cannot see anything which you denoise so let's pretend uh, and I have a good computer it's an inefficient this tool must you know other editors have from 2010 the denoiser inside them and work flawlessly and this is a junk this is not a tool they shouldn't put it inside the vegas software the professional vegas yeah vegas pro yeah 18 this rubbish tool and i see that uh, it's some uh, guy in the scrapyard it rises this software and um, it sucks a lot only pros for this software because vegas is uh, sending him periodically or yearly when they release a new version this software you have to be correct you have to be fair to your audience you have to be uh, true and say all the problems i uh, assume what i say because i uh, get uh, manufacturers that told me to trash other brands and uh, they will give me money uh, to promote their product as being the best so i will not do this i have emails i have proofs for uh, what i'm saying i will be true to my audience guys now it stopped and i have a red screen i don't know i have to close it and turn it back on again okay the video denoiser in the power director you have video denoise it's simple you put the amount uh, watch and I use it before it's good it uh, does his job and you can view your clip and it uses the CPU 42% 41 uh, you see the GPU it's way higher than uh, the Vega software and it can be improved uh, if they are releasing the GPU 
you will see here uh, 60 percent 70 percent to use the the gpu in decoding and re-encoding this information and guys believe me i'm uh, i'm not uh, taking side with power director i said this is an amateur software is crashing a lot no one bribe me i don't take sides with anyone beside the truth next the tracking motion tracker but seriously it doesn't worth it the motion tracking and uh, it's not accurate this is the improved version and uh, it doesn't track well at all you got to have a distinct a very clean object and a great uh, picture quality to work with it and it's not intelligible it's in the right progress but it uh, it must be improved and i think it can be improved easily but it's not okay it's not okay for a professional software and uh, the motion tracking of the power director is very easy Mo it's uh, called motion tracker this motion tracker is very easy to to use and it works it tracks very very good next the rendering and uh, let me show you really quick the rendering let's see dci 4k this is what i've done it's on 135 megabytes per second on the high profile uh 1496 by uh 2160 the audio is not that uh, relevant and here in the procedure i uh, made exactly the same thing okay i render two files one is progress with move and one is mp4 and uh, we will see first the mp4 and this is while it process it uses uh, um, it's oscillating here the vegas uses approximately between 90 percent and 100 percent it's uh, almost 100 percent level the full throttle on the cpu and the gpu and these values are oscillating are 39 percent you see the peaks and here is 50 percent so 50 percent of the graphics card it's a rubbish for a software 2020 year and the power director it uses almost 70 percent with the 50 percent i have a boost here for at the beginning and it stabilizes to 50 percent all the way all the clip to the 50 percent so uh, this is why we got those uh, good values so let's see now the mp4 the mp4 on sony vegas yeah, I'm repeating myself with Sony Vegas. Uh, it's I know it's Magic Vegas uh, 18. The Sony uh, sell to Magic uh, on 13 version. So it's elapsed almost five minutes, four minutes and 56 seconds. On the Power Director, it elapsed the same time, the same five minutes of rendering yeah to both of them five minutes of rendering in two minutes 26 so it's at the half of time but you didn't see anything so now let's see the rendering of the progress from directly from the cinematic camera and our 12 minutes 09 can you guess what the uh, power director did and it did in two minutes 26 seconds so let's see so we have 12 minutes 09 minus divided sorry to two minutes and 26 seconds and we have five times and a half almost a half faster power director than uh, compared to the vegas pro 18 so this value will increase i obtain eight times on uh, higher clips on uh, half an hour an hour i don't know exactly now but this value will increase so this is not possible uh, they have developers paid to do this job how can they do and they put these rubbish tools in a professional software and i feel like we are not treated with respect for uh, for this software this is not possible to have this software 
to have these problems. And we talked and I talked about the ProRes, I talked about the RAW, importing RAW. Well, both softwares will not import the Vinci Resolve with Word. If you try to import, this is a... Uh, uh, yeah, this is a RAW, B RAW, Black Magic RAW, and it imports only the sound. So I have the codec installed, the Premiere works, the DaVinci Resolve works, I'm not showing you the DaVinci rendering time because we beat the hell out of PowerDirector and uh, Vegas Pro, both together, combined will beat them. So this is the most important thing guys that I'm talking about Vega software to make a B-Raw implementing in this software the B-Raw codec is not that difficult and to uh, give more codecs for uh, uh, exporting good codecs to avoid crashing and they will make a great product but until I don't feel like this product it respects the clients 